Right then, for projection, let's say you've got this uh, object. It's a, uh, you know, like a cylinder going through a cube. The bottom's completely flat, so it's all at the same height. Um, only the top sticks up. Now for first angle, uh, <clears throat> we'll do third angle projection first. So if I'm looking from this view, I would see the uh, edge of the box, and then I would see sticking out at the same height, the cylinder coming up, more or less like that. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a great view. Now, when you look at this from the right hand end, you would draw what you see from the right hand end to the right. So we would see, uh, these are all in line remember. And we would see the front of the box and then in the distance behind it the cylinder. And note that these would line up, it's the same object so it has to be the same height. Now to the left, looking from this view, <coughs> we would draw that view to the left. So we would end up with, um, the cylinder would be in the foreground, if you like. It's really difficult trying to film and draw at the same time. The cylinder would be in the foreground, and then using the same heights, the uh, box shape would be in the background. So we've got the front view, the front, what you'd see from the right on the right, what you'd see from the left on the left. Now what you'd see from above, predictably, it goes above. So we'd end up, you pull these lines up, so you've got your circle, and then we've got this line here, um, which would form the square from above. So you've got the above view, and then predictably what you'd see from below, you'd draw below. So you'd have the edge of the square, this paper's moving all over, <clears throat> and then the circle, the square and circle would join like this. That's really badly drawn, it should be in the middle really, but the, uh, the square and circle would join. And to show that the circle's complete, up above this view plane, you would show a hidden line to show that it's, it's a circle once it once it sticks above the top of the square, if you like, so this intersection here is that dotted line there. Um, but either way, that's that's the rough uh, way of doing it. So you've got your front view, your front view. When you look from above, draw it above. When you look from below, draw it below. <clears throat> when you look from the right hand end, draw it to the right. When you look from the left hand end, draw it to the left. Now, of course, there's only one view left. And that's this view from the back. Now if you imagine walking around and looking at that object, this cylinder would be actually be on your right hand side. It's the same as staying still and rotating the object 180 degrees. The cylinder will still be on your right hand side. So you would end up, and you could draw it over here, you would end up with the same height of, uh, you know, box and things like that. And then the cylinder uh, I'm making a mess of doing this. The cylinder would be on your right, like this. I really should have taped this paper down. <laughs> but you've got to notice that everything lines up, the edges all line up. It would be, you know, there's an order to it. And that's third angle uh, projection. The first angle projection, which I'll show you next, um, it's, it's the, you get the same views, you have to get the same views because it's the same shape. The only thing that changes is where you position them. Now in, in the UK, British Standards mandates that um, third, um, third angle projection takes priority, which is the same in the USA and I think in Canada. So if you're in doubt, use third angle projection. So the front view, the view from the right hand end goes to the right, the view from the left goes to the left. The view from above goes above, the view from below goes below. Um, <clears throat> you'll find that in first angle a lot of these views just switch around. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I'll do first angle next.